In this video, today we will try to learn how to do a kernel debugging using the kernel traces. So for that, first we need a trace FS. So this is the Linux machine which I am using, it is 6.2. So first thing is you have to give this command mount trace FS. Trace in that grep for FS. So if it is there, then it shows that you can trace the kernel. So if it is not there, you have to enable this in compile in the kernel. So this will be mounted in this path. This kernel tracing and is a trace FS file system. So this is the first thing. Only if this option is there, then you can start to debug. Now we will go to that path. This kernel tracing. So to this path. So wherever this path is mounted, to that path you have to go. So these are all the different commands. Now we will see whether tracing is enabled or not. So for that, you have to give this tracing on. This is the file. So if this is 1, then means tracing is on. If it is 0, then means tracing is off. So we can try to accept the trace. Echo 0 greater than tracing. So now tracing is off. So you have also have a command called as uh, file called as trace. So here you can check. See here tracer is no off. So this will show the actual tracing logs. So now currently it is off. Now we will try to switch on. How to switch on? Just put 1. That's it. So now tracing is on. So what all we can trace? So for that, you have to go to this path, available traces. So all these things you can trace. This is hardware, this is function graph, wake up graph, function and NOP. By default, it is NOP. So now, today we will check how to see function graph as well as function. So where to set this uh, options, available tracer options. So for that, you have a file called as current tracer. So current tracer is NOP, that means there is no tracing enabled, no particular tracer is enabled. So we will try to enable uh, now. For enabling it, you have to do cat, sorry, echo, you have to give function graph and then current trace. All these you need root permission, only then you can do it. So now the current tracer is set to function graph. For all the outputs, you have to see this file. So the, all the traces are enabled now. So that's why you are getting like this. So anyway, we cannot debug like this. So we need to add a filter. So how to add a filter? So this this is actually gen, uh, if you want to see this log, you can just see what all what are all scheduling what all pin logs are there. So this is uh, the current task of the kernel. Everything it is loading. So with this you cannot see particular variable or particular function. So if you want to debug a particular function then we have to enable the filters. So for that first we will see what are all the available filters. So this is the file available f trace F trace filters. This is showing all function enabled. So that's why we are getting all the functions. So now we have to give a particular function here. So this is F trace like that graph function, everything we can do. So for now we will check this. So what are all the available filters? So for that available filter function. You see, these are all the kernel functions. So when these functions are getting it, it will get a trace here. So today what we will try to do, we will just try to ping with ICMP and we can check. So for ICMP itself, we have all these things. So out of this, we can select few. We have already selected few. What we have to do, I am doing is echo this function I am copying to ftrace filter. So I am just appending it. 
we'll see after uh, this comment. So all these, so I'm app appending to this set F trace filter. You know, if you see, it will start debugging for this one. Old things are there, so we have to uh, disable it. We can do echo NOP current tracer and then we can enable function. Now if I give C trace, so nothing is there. So C tracer is function graph. So now it will give all these filters. Only these functions will be traced now. If you want to add more, you can add more here. So now this is, since it is ping, it is easy. So I have added this. So now we will try to ping to google.com. So one packet. So now we will see the traces. This still shows the old one. We will re enter and we will check. You can once try with function. Try with this function. This is showing correctly. <coughs> so, ICMP receive is getting hit so you can see the task task id irq what is the request and from there see it shows from ip protocol deliver rcu we are getting to icmp receive so this is a working correct packet so we will try to send to some other ip which is in this network but it is not reachable so we should get an error just to see this we got IPv, IPv4 link failure, send push reply. So it gets some error because error I have not logged, but still it gets a failure. We are getting a failure. So it, this is from the software I, IRQ, like that's all the tasks in CPU, everything you can find it here, and this along with the timestamp. I think this would be useful. Now we will try to switch over to. function trace we had this now we'll go to function graph and we can function graph now now we'll do the same exercise this is a working case Goes like this, and uh, we'll do a non working case. So, here you see it, it says ICMP receive, and then from there it goes to ICMP send reply. So, software I had it is similar thing, but it that is with a function call, this is with a function graph from where it calls and how it goes. This is very useful for kernel debugging. I'll just recap it. First, you have to check the mount whether tracer is on. If not, you have to compile the kernel with that and move to the path in which it is there. In our case, it is this kernel debug tracing. So usually, it will be in that path only. Sometimes it is okay here in both the paths. It is there. You can check in. Both the paths. So we were still now working with trace. We can also work with debug. And then the function to check whether it is on or off is this uh, tracing on. And all the available traces you can check in this available tracer. Current tracer you can put here. 
the available tracer options we have function and uh, function graph and these are the available filters you can just enable this you have to append it so that you can trace all the required function so this is how you can debug the kernel internals so it is very useful if you want to understand anything in the kernel so thanks